You ever have a hard day and you just want to sit down after work and crack open a nice relaxing book about JavaScript and HTML? Me too. These are older versions of these books. I believe they came out with newly revised versions uh, recently, but I still think whatever version you have, they cover a lot of the basic topics that'll get you on your way to becoming a front-end developer very quickly. So let's start with the HTML and CSS book. This was the first one that I got in the set, and uh, although I think I already knew the majority of the stuff that was in here, there was still some chapters that I needed to brush up on. And I, I, I think just the way that the book is laid out is really, really great. It covers things like, you know, text and lists and links, all the really basic stuff. So each chapter is broken up into really easy to read and really easy to understand kind of bite-sized chunks. And, and and I think just the book is just really beautiful as well. So even if you uh, are getting your kind of educational resources elsewhere, there's something to be said about a really beautifully laid out book about your kind of craft. And I think everybody should have something like this on their shelf. I also think that this book is really great because it offers a lot of really valid, real world practical examples on how to start building websites right now. Obviously, a little bit has changed since the original printing of this book, but I think that if you started from start to beginning and you, were, you knew absolutely nothing about HTML and CSS, you would literally be able to start making websites the minute you put this book down. Who is this book for? I would say that the HTML and CSS book is for somebody who has never created a website in their life or for somebody who's created lots of websites but they just want to maybe brush up on a couple simple topics or the collector of beautiful books like me. Next I want to talk about the JavaScript and jQuery book. Now I think this is a good book, but I think there's less that's applicable uh, since the original press of this book. Um, I think jQuery is great. It leaves a bit of a heavy footprint if you don't know what I'm talking about. Basically jQuery is a library of JavaScript that helps you to write less JavaScript but do more with that code. And it also uh, makes your code very cross-browser compliant. Um, jQuery is really, really great, but I think it's probably better for you to learn, in my opinion, how to write JavaScript, just pure vanilla JavaScript. And then on top of it, there's a lot of really great front-end or JavaScript frameworks out there right now um, that would be really, really great. Although jQuery still has a great place, I think it's used in like something like 70% of websites that are online right now. Again, it's written by the same author, John Duckett, and he does a really, really good job of introducing you to the ABCs of programming as well as basic JavaScript functions. What I like about this book is it's not just jQuery or just JavaScript, it's both. It gives you the tools to understand full JavaScript but then also simplify by writing jQuery as well. I think that's something that's really interesting about this book is the case studies, projects, or examples that are actually given in this book are uh, very, very real world, very applicable. And there's something about visually seeing what the code will do and the way that the book is laid out via colors and everything. Uh, that just really helps those that don't have a very large programming background actually pick it up quicker than some of maybe the O'Reilly books or some of the other books that are out there on the topic. So who is this book for? I think this is, like I said, a great jumping off point for somebody who has no idea what programming is and has never used JavaScript or jQuery before. I also think it's a really, really great companion book to the HTML and CSS book. It's also, I think, a decent book for somebody who is an intermediate JavaScript and jQuery user. Like maybe you just know how to use jQuery plugins, but you don't know how to actually write JavaScript from scratch. This would be good for you. I don't think this would be as great of a book for somebody who's already very comfortable writing JavaScript. Um, I don't think it's actually worth it for you to purchase the book just to have it on your shelf, especially with uh, the amount of progression that's been made since the original pressing of the book. So probably not for you, but I think if you read both of these books and you knew nothing about front-end development, you could most likely finish the book, make a couple concept projects, and be ready to go out on a few interviews. That's how much I really like these books. So highly recommend them. That's HTML and CSS, Design and Build Websites. 
JavaScript and jQuery interactive front-end web development, both by John Duckett, and you can find the links to these books down in the description if you are interested at all in purchasing them. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and this book review. If you have any thoughts or comments on these books or any other books that you really love about design or front-end development, please let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for some good books to read and put on my nightstand. If you like this video, maybe consider hitting the like button, also subscribing to the channel so you can be here when more book reviews and videos on design and development come out. Hope you guys are having an awesome week and hope you guys are reading some amazing books. Talk to you soon.